Rick McNeil, longtime fan of sports motion software, used both for video analysis and as a great coaching tool. One of my favorite ways to use the software is to, instead of using the slow motion uh, feature, is to take a player's swing, uh, video it from different angles, and then bookmark various points of the swing that I think are crucial points in the mechanic and then to compare them and, and illustrate uh, what position the body should be in. It's important to note that I've done this a long time and uh, although it may seem simple a lot of people don't realize that any kind of physical motion, any kind of uh, athletic mechanic is comprised of a series of, uh, of chain reaction of movements. So it's been my theory from the start that you can't correct flaws or point them out to an athlete and get them to change behavior by trying to fix something that's halfway or through the end of the mechanic. You've really got to start and fix first things first. And you'll find, if you follow that, that a lot of times you'll solve more mechanical problems um, because when you fix the beginning of the chain, a lot of other things start to flow and fix themselves. So that said, um, I'm going to show you how I break down a, uh, either a baseball or softball swing. And the first thing I do is I start by capturing the player's relaxed position. So in this, uh, in this scene here, the player's up at bat. Um, they're ready to go. The pitcher starts their windup. If you notice, this player's a good illustration of she's got a nice wide base. Um, she's very, very upright, facing forward. If you look here, great, great angle on her arm. She's got her elbows out and the bat is at a nice angle. I like to see almost right angles on the elbows and the wrist where it meets the bat almost 90 degree angles. So the bat's a little high here, her shoulders are high, but again she's just relaxed and so she's just holding the bat up. The next place I bookmark is what I call the pitch track. In other words, the pitcher's gone into their windup She's about ready to get into her swing mechanic. So you see here she's crouched down lower than she was before. Good flex in her knees, but her torso is still very upright. The bat head is up, and look at the nice triangle between her elbows. Great, great position. Shoulders, right, the square facing the, the pitcher. If you notice, too, her weight is no longer centered. It's about to move back. It's a little bit more heavily on the back leg than the front. In this view here, what's what I call the full load position. In other words, she has swung all of her weight back. Her body is now over her back leg. Her hands are back, shoulders turned, still facing the pitcher. And you notice the only weight on the front leg is just enough to keep balance. But she's fully coiled here. She's got her spring wound up, if you will. Notice in this side here, you can see again, nice angle. That front elbow is a nice 90 degree. Her wrists are 90 degrees to the bat. The bat head is up. People like to talk about the back arm here, and I believe that if you do the front arm position the way this gal has done it, the back arm position falls in place. The next spot I like to bookmark is what I call the pre-attack. In other words, her torso is compressing and she's just at this frame. The next frame is where she will start to rotate her hips forward. But her hands are still back. Everything is in a nice position here. Again, notice a strong elbow, strong wrist, bad head up, shoulders still turned away, but her hips are going to start to move forward, start to rotate toward the pitcher. And if you'll notice, as we just make this slight thing here, this is where she started to rotate her hips forward. And in doing so, though, her hips are still ahead of her shoulders. In other words, her shoulders are still not, in, they're not symmetrical with her hips. Her hips are starting to turn open. The shoulders are not that open. And her hands are still back here. If you come over to this position, you can see here, the ball's halfway to the plate. But notice she's still very much coiled. Her hands are back, which is good. And if you notice here too, she's got nice flex in her legs so that her torso is still very, very upright. Okay, 
here's the all important contact position and this tells a lot about a batter's technique if you notice again starting from the ground up in the face on view her foot is firmly planted at a nice 45 degree angle to the pitcher if you notice good strong solid anchor leg here now she's, her knee isn't flexed all the way um, so she's not stiff legged but very very close to a nice straight line and what that does is that traps that hip that front hip is locked in with the leg giving a good strong anchor and the backside hip is coming forward and then the important thing here too again is the strength of the hand position if you notice she's got that same same distance between the elbows that she had from the start of her swing but what's good is the bat and her wrists are at 90 degrees here that underside wrist strong angle to her elbow and what that means is when she's attacking the ball here and there's two of the bat and the ball are colliding what's happening is the ball is going to take the brunt of that collision because she's got a good strong base here and meaning she's cutting the recoil of the bat to a minimum which means the power the force of this collision is going into the ball and not being absorbed by the batter okay in this position what you see here is again because of that good strong forward anchor look at how everything lines up from her instep all the way through her hips all the way through her torso and up through her chin it's a nice straight line and notice on the back side there's a nice bend here to the back leg and what that does is it allows her to get this front strong position and use all of her power and all of our momentum to aid in the swing and if you look at this view over here you'll notice that well, with that even though that wide base look how balanced she is and look how upright the torso is her head is still following the ball but she's very very balanced even though it's a strong powerful swing and then I bookmark this spot because if somebody's doing it right and this is the position actually where you'll see where the hands start to trade positions where the underside hand the wrist starts to roll over the top if someone is in the right position that happens naturally and what that does is allows for the momentum of the swing to continue to keep the acceleration through the whole swing typically when a batter has a problem and you don't see this nice straight line up through the leg up through the torso right through the head it means that something's out of whack between the torso the hips and the legs and what that does is it prevents the hands from naturally extending and naturally rolling over and the problem with that is that they start to decelerate their swing prematurely and by doing so they don't get the full power of their swing in this uh, shot here you can see this gal is letting her hands extend and following the ball and it's going to allow her hands to naturally roll over which then of course leads to a nice follow-through if you look here again nice torso nice up and down position hands are relaxed the bat is flown through and again looking here look at the straight line from head all the way down to her foot good strong backside and very very balanced so um, to kind of conclude this is how I initially break down a batter swing but one of the things you can do is once you've done this with the software is you can trade out um, if you've got somebody good to look at and you want to want to help another student you replace their video with someone else's you bookmark the same points in the swing and you can do some comparisons to give them an idea of where their me mechanic is strong and where maybe it begins to break down at that point you then do the corrective drills to start breaking the chain and then one last thought is you never try and correct everything at once you try and go to the source of the flaw correct that first get the, the muscle memory if you will corrected and then move on to the next thing so just as a recap I'm going to go through the entire swing here in the positions we do there's nine positions that I do I do the at bat relaxed prior to pitch the pre-attack if you will this is when the batter is ready they're, they're tracking the pitcher the load position the um, I guess I'd call it the, the pre-launch or attack one and that's when everything's loaded up the 
balance is, is still slightly on the back side. The hips are about ready to start their forward rotation. The forward rotation of the swing, which is getting the hips ahead of the shoulders. And then this is the, the rotation to make contact with the ball, putting the lower torso in a good position to have those top part of her arms in a good position, and then a strong follow through. Thanks. And that's just one of the many great ways to use this powerful software.